just like we can have 2, 4, 3, 4, or 4, 4 time, we can also have 3, 8, 6, 8, 9, 8, and 12, 8 time. So let's take a look at an example of a piece that's in 3, 8 time. We have The Sorcerer's Apprentice by Paul Ducas. Take a look at the key signature. We have B flat, E flat, and A flat. And look at the tempo marking at the top, the word vivace. What does that mean? If you don't know, you could go look it up, or you could wait about five more seconds and I'll tell you. It means very lively, fast and lively. So we'll play this a little less than our fastest and liveliest tempo so that we can actually play all the right notes and learn it accurately. And then look at the dynamic marking. It's mezzo piano. So we're going to start rather softly. And now let's take a look at all the rhythms. We're in 3-8 time. So what does that mean? That means that there are three eighth notes in every measure. We could go really fast and think one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or we could simplify it and think one big beat. One, 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 one. Or one lolly, one lolly, one lolly, one lolly. So it's important that it has the right flow. That's why it's in 3 8. We're just going to start thinking one beat, 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 one beat. So let's get that metronome going, and I'd like to count and clap through this melody. The dotted quarter equals 84 beats per minute. Start tapping your foot. One, 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 ready, go. One, 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 la, li, one, li, one, li, one, la, li, one, li, one, li, one, la, li, one, li, one, la, li, one, la, li, one, la, li, one, li, one, li, one, la, li, one, Li one, li one, lolly one, lolly one, lolly one, lolly one, lolly one, lolly one. One lolly one. Now let's finger along while we count. I want you to pay special attention to the accidentals you see. So you also remember that we have that key signature to pay attention to. So you might want to go through this slower. Um, we'll we'll keep it at the same tempo of 84. But please, if it's not going well, pause and go slower. Okay, here we go. One, one, ready, go. One, one, one lolly, one, lee one, lee one, lolly, one, lee one, lee one, lolly, one, lee one, lolly, one, lolly, one, lolly, one, lee one, lee one, lolly, one, lee one, lee one, lolly, one, lolly, one, lolly, one, lolly, one, lolly, one. One lolly, one. And finally, let's play through this melody together. I'd like to point out some of the skips we have. Okay, so you start on a C, you go up to a G, and then down an octave to the next lowest G. Have some accidentals, some more skips, C to E flat. Okay, make sure that you are processing that key signature, so you might wanna circle that or put a flat sign in front of the E. Keep moving along, we have the similar skips throughout this melody. And then look on the, look, so uh, about halfway in, we have a, a D to an F sharp. Make sure that you note that, that it's not F natural, that it's F sharp. It's a little awkward. The next measure returns back to C to E flat. So F sharp and E flat in the same piece might be a little weird. I don't think we've seen that before. So good thing you get to do it again a couple of bars later and get really good practice. Finally, we have a huge crescendo at the end, and then it goes all the way down to pianissimo. And then there's this bar of rest, and then boom, ba 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 ba, big accent, fortissimo. Really go for it. Okay, here we go. Let's do a quick trigger check to make sure we get the right first note. Here we go. One, one, ready, go. Mm-hmm. 